This is an ultrasound study of a kidney, 20 years old male with anemia, history of weight loss and uh, pain, mid abdominal right side. Now this is the kidney, it's normal, liver, okay, gallbladder, portal vein, all are normal. The pathology is that when I sweep the probe from the uh, right hypochondria up down towards the left lower abdominal quadrant, I come across a distended power loops that are seen anterior to the Ileus source muscle on the right side. Here we are. This is the longitudinal section of the area that gives the appearance of a pseudopyrin that is we call as pseudopyrin sign. Now pseudopyrin sign is really due to power related mass, so this appears to be a mass relating to the colon or ascending colon. Uh, this strap of muscle that you are seeing is the source muscle and uh, this is the area of pathology relating to the bowel and uh, giving a pseudopyrin sign and no peristaltic movement is seen in it. <coughs> the wall is not and exceeding more than 5 mm <coughs> because more than 5 mm is suspicious of some aggressive pathology. So when the wall is less than uh, 5 and you see uh, no lobulations are seen, both ends are abrupt, these are abrupt and no peristalsis is seen, no calcification is seen in this region and no fluid is seen. So this is uh, uh, a pathology that relates to the ascending colon and the region of the uh, right uh, flexure that measures 7.3 centimeter in length and 2.8 centimeter in anterior posterior diameter. And here, if you see, this is the actually the I am in the subcostal region and. Uh, here I can see just just when I move the probe downwards, straight downwards, I come across this area that appears to be kidney shaped, but in fact the kidney is not here. This is the kidney. True kidney is this one. This is the true kidney in transfer section. This is the liver. Whereas when I move the probe from here downwards, you see another reniform area. Now here we do see some air particles in it. This area is, well, well this is what we label as the silver kidney sign and it, it's at the region of hepatic flexure of the uh, ascending of the colon. And here even in transfer section of the bowel mass, the uh, wall does not appear to be uh, thick more than, uh, is not more than 5 mm and uh, second thing is that the bowel wall are regular, there is uh, no irregularity seen, this is the wall of the bowel and no irregularity is seen relating to the bowel. Uh, so this is uh, most probably Anterior has proven otherwise, uh, inflammatory nature of this mass, uh, granulomatous tuberculosis yes, can, should be considered first in our community. And as I don't have any damp profile with me or any other investigative procedure, any other imaging modality, nothing 
so we, I have to go by my working experience. And here we are, see the mass, concentrate on this region. This is a power related mass. This is the eye source muscle. This is, this is the mass, power related mass. And uh, the walls, Below the wall, you can see that the mucosa is significantly thickened. This is the longitudinal section, and you see you won't see any movement except uh, the movements with respiration of the patient. And this is the transfer section of the same. This is the longitudinal section. Once again. So this is a case study of a power related mass in a young patient, which is uh, most probably that of uh, infective nature, for which my first uh, adventure will be to rule out Cox infection. So uh, you see, the, there is no periodic, I have seen all that, but there is no periodic adenopathy, there is no pleural effusion, uh, there is no ascites, this is the isolated pathology that one can see. And now if I show you the same region on the left side, now this is the left side, and you can see the difference. Uh, the left hepatic flexure of the colon, you can see the difference. These are normal. And this is the left uh, ileosus muscle, this one, this strap of muscle is the left ileosus muscle, these are the bowels. And see the same on the left, on the right side, here yeah, is the mass. You will not see such a finding on the left side. Let's go to the left. You will see movement of the bowels. If you place the probe here for some time and they will change their shape as well. Now this retains its shape, it remains the same on the right side. There we are again on the right side, so you look at the sign of power related mass of the nature. Thank you very much.